captain sent back sketches of the walls. Our experts say they look elven. Oh, yeah. Interesting. Does Corypheus send scholars to find something the elves buried? Or something buried with them? Good question. Red Templars on the Storm Coast. Our agents have acquired access to the Red Templars' foothold on the Storm Coast. The Templars feel themselves secure. It's time to prove them wrong, Leliana. Thank you, Leliana. No, I don't want to go there now. So, I'm still having a problem with my game crashing when I'm in this room. Um, it just crashed. And I came back in here and redid all this stuff. And what I've been doing is I walk in and I do something real quick. And then I walk out and then I walk back in. It's a pain in the ass, but it's better than uh, the game crashing. Because as I've said before, that is the real pain in the ass. So we'll come back in here again. And I think there's one more thing to unlock over here, if I remember correctly. Is that true? Um, no, I guess there isn't. What the heck was I doing? Okay, yeah, I was going in here to serve any master. This is what I was reading when my game crashed before. Inquisitor, here's an interesting thing. Among the various things we found at Kerr Bronach that belonged to its former mercenary inhabitants was a journal, and in it I found mention of several high-placed clerks in the Imperial Counting House who are, shall we say, known for their loose tongues. They sell what they know to mercenaries seeking to outbid others for work, but should we dispatch agents to speak with them, it would take very little pressure to have them work exclusively for us. The agents would need to remain to watch over our new friends, but I've been trying to place eyes on these positions for years, Leliana. Josephine says, with your permission, I'll send agents to secure these men straight away. Well, why don't you go ahead and do that, Josephine? And as far as Cullen goes, let's give him this, a hastily scribbled letter from the Quartermaster. While I would never question the wisdom of the Inquisitor in such a contentious time, if we are to insist on relying on mercenaries acting in our names, I would ask that they represent us properly. We can't be seen to employ the poorly equipped in the Inquisition, more exactly, I cannot. Man. Shut up, dude! His assistance has been valuable. Hard to believe he was disgraced at all. The situation was complicated. Okay, great. I humbly request permission to outfit the crew Sutherland leads, Sir Morris. Leliana says, It would take little to have them look like the hidden arm they could be. And Colin says he wishes them formidable, make them formidable heavy armor. Let's do that. Inquisitor. And then Leliana, we will send to... Where was it? Which one do I want her to do? Judgment, the death of Sir Good Ruth. The disgraced Grey Warden, Sir Ruth, wishes to make good on your judgment, Inquisitor. She has asked for assistance in reaching one of the deeper recesses of the Deep Roads, so that her premature calling might serve a greater good. Laudable, but any expedition to the Deep Roads comes with considerable risk. Leliana says, an escort is simple. I could also arrange to note her exact path, should you wish to recover her body for any perceived honors. Let's do that. Inquisitor. And let's get the hell out of this room before it crashes on me again. Okay, let's mix it up a little bit. Instead of going back to the hissing wastes, let's take a look at um, one of these new things that have opened up. Let's see, we've got this Crater of Sullivan. I don't know what is up with this. Um, it might be interesting to do this. Located on the edge of the Arbor Wilds, nature long ago reclaimed the Cradle of Sullivan. It is said that an ancient tragedy unfolded here, and that a legendary elven sword lies within. And there's a ruined blade here. There is a legendary elven sword rumored to be found within an overgrown ruin on the edge of the Arbor Wilds. Let's um, make that our quest. Let's jump to map. What? Wait a minute now. What's going on here? Um, Collect the shattered pieces of the sword. Pieces recovered. Okay. Well, I don't know why it didn't show me anything on the map. Let's go look at the world map here and see if anything showed up. Castle of Kerr Oswin. Nope. Shrine of Dumont. Crater of Sullivan. Probably saying that wrong, but that's okay. Let's travel here. Uh, let's take our elves with us, um, since this is going to be an elven sword. I don't know. Let's just do that. So we'll take um, Solace and Sarah. And who should I make my 
warrior, right? Because I've got a rogue and a mage. So we'll take uh, Cassandra. We haven't traveled with her in a while. Let's travel with her. <clears throat> okay, so discovered how the Sylvain blade was lost. Lost or misused. There is a reason it was never reclaimed. Okay. Great. Awesome. Fantastic. So we're supposed to find four pieces of a ruined blade. Wow, this is pretty cool looking. Let's see what kind of goodies there are in here. Yes. We'll just help ourselves to um, whatever's in here. Oh, I see that Cassandra is ready to level up, so let's take care of her. Yeah, she's got three points to spend. It's been a little while since I've traveled with her. Let's get her Templar stuff up. Um... We'll go ahead and give her the last sacrifice. Even should you fall, you give your allies the strength to fight har on harder in your name. So what if she dies? I, my enemies fight. I mean, my teammates fight harder. There is no darkness. Your faith is your protection against the elements, and not for you alone. The entire party gains increased resistance to fire, ice, electric, and spirit damage. That sounds pretty cool. Uh, Wrath of Heaven. You summon a blinding pillar of light that stuns nearby enemies and damages demons. Give her that, and then we'll upgrade that. And then let's put it in this slot. Alright, I would like to anyway. Why can't I? Why can I drag this into that slot? What's going on here? Isn't this how I do this? Oh, maybe I need to apply it first. There we go. We'll put it in that slot. She's not going to be... I don't think that the game will do these... Um, focus things on its own. I don't think it will anyway. I don't know. I don't know. I'm guessing. Sarah's ready to level up as well. So she's got two points to spend. Um, give her some of this Tempest stuff. Let's go ahead and just upgrade that. We'll give her that and we'll give her that. What? Oh, okay. We'll give her those two things. Nothing for you, Solace, apparently, or for myself over here. Something else to loot. Looks like just a pile of gold. And it is 151 gold. Alright, I'll take that. Thank you. Let's see what's over here. Big pile of gold. Look at that. 255. Wow, yeah, that's a good pile of gold right there. Okay, well, I'm glad we came here. <laughs> hmm. So, somewhere around here is where the pieces of this thing are. Let's um, go up these steps and see what's up here just for fun, shall we? Oh, wow, this place is big. Hmm. It's a question mark straight ahead. Read. What's this? Vartan Tanadal, the way of three trees. Be swift and silent. Vir Asin, the way of the arrow. Okay, thank you very much. A little thing to loot over here. Dark spawn alpha shield and an ornate battle axe. Eh, pretty cool stuff, I guess. What the heck is she wearing on her head? Come here, you. What the heck is on your head? <laughs> the hell is that thing? What is she wearing? What is that? Um, that is the Curse of Morak. I guess that's weird. I didn't, I didn't know it looked like that. Huh, Alright, she's been wearing that for a while. Not real sure why I didn't notice that before. Alright, we'll continue on our way here. Another thing to read. Uh, as the sapling bends, so must you. Berbora send the way of the bow. Okay, great. Oh, there's something bad down there. What do we got? We've got um, a poison spider. It's only level 11, though, so it's not too too much to worry about. Why is there another question mark here? Didn't I just... Hmm. Okay, whatever you say, game. Hmm, more loot. Let's see. We've got superior battle master armor. 
Oh, well, that looks pretty good, actually. Hmm. And... Reinforced Battlemaster armor. Is that better than what Cassandra is currently wearing? Indeed it is. Well, I'm going to have to give her this. It is your lucky day, Cassandra. You're welcome. All right, cool. All right. Something else to read? Fantastic. Receive the gifts of the hunt with mindfulness. Vir Adalen, the way of the wood. Okay, good to know. Awesome. Ooh, what's this right here? Examine. I'm not so sure I want to examine that just yet. Let's go There's ahead and loot this stuff. Be yeah. careful. This place is far too quiet for my liking. I agree with you, Cassandra. Well, we're getting a lot of gold for coming here. That's pretty cool. More? Okay. Don't mind if I do. Wow, 265 gold. Holy mackerel. Uh, why don't you go ahead and energize that for us, Solace? Hope nothing weird happens as a result. Okay. Did you drop that thing? Alright. Wow, there is just... This place is just loot galore, man. Wither Stalk and Phoenix Scales. Cool, cool, cool. And uh, Bear Hide and Velveteen. My goodness. Whoa, look at all this crap. Okay. Sturdy Battlemaster Coat, Avar Raider Sword. And we've got Decorative Pommel. Okay. Um, before we do that, let's take care of Mr. Spider here. Goodbye. And it's dead. Okay. I do not want to go down in there. At least I don't think I do. Not right now, anyway. We most probably will. Sooner or later. Alright, who's casting the weird spells? Hmm, more stuff. Oh, it's dark over here. Wow, look at all that gold. Holy mackerel. I have to find something to spend gold on. Jeez. Oh, what's going on back here? Solace, care to do the honors? Huh. Um, I'm not going to go back there just yet. Don't feel like we've explored everything there is to explore out here yet. Okay. Hmm. Another question mark here, though. Yeah, okay. We'll go in there a little bit later on, not just yet. Let's see what's out here first. Hmm. Okay. Yeah, that's a question mark. Okay, whatever. Another thing to examine. So this is where we came in, right? Yeah, this is where we came in. Did I look? I don't think I looked up on this side. I don't think I did. Hmm. Let's see what's up here. Nothing else to read. Wow, we can go up here too. Holy cow. Okay, this place is way bigger than I thought. Discovered Starlight Chambers. Huh. Okay. Wow. I'm not really sure what to make of this place. It's kind of confusing, actually, I think. I'm confused. Go back here. Okay, we could go that way. We could go up here. Oh man, I am totally going to get lost in this place, no doubt about it. Confusing. I'm going to miss something. Overlook something. Well. Shall we? I'm going to have um, him drop his uh, thing there, though. Because he, if he's holding that, he will not attack. Let's examine this. Requires Veilfire. Oh, for crying out loud. Okay. Take. 
What do we got? It sounded scary. Oh, what do we got here? Who are you? You are a revenant, a level 20. What the heck? How'd this happen all of a sudden? Cold resistance, fire vulnerability, immunity, fear in a sleep, immunity, frozen, immunity, physical effects, immunity, poison, spirit vulnerability. Wow, this guy's just got it going on. Okay. Well, let's fight him. Oh my gosh. Um, can we do some damage to him now, please? Jeez. He's just kind of standing there. He's so badass, he doesn't even need to do anything. Wow, this guy's tough. Oh. Oh, man. Already going through potions. Alright, we're gonna we're gonna get him. He's gonna, he's gonna do some damage to us, but we're gonna get him. Wow. Okay. Yikes. Huh. What do we got here? What did he drop? Elven sword pommel. One of four elf hen. Really? Oh, it does say elf hen. Okay. Elf hen weapon components broken long ago. Alright, well we got one of them. The elves broke it after all. They performed a ritual they did not understand. It appears they paid the consequences for it. It does appear that, that way. Was possessed by a pride demon. I doubt it was alone. I doubt it was there alone too. There must be. And I know where I know just where one is. There happens to be an altar right here. Take Oh, the Revenant does not care for that. There he is. Whoa, whoa, he's got some friends with him. Got some level 20 corpses. What the hell's going on here? Oh, he's immune to be put to sleep. Oh my. Did a lot of damage to him though, so that's good. Alright, one of them's down. Let's see if we can get rid of this other corpse. Uh, I think he's down. Yeah, okay. Oh, he's, is he looking at me? Are you looking at me? Oh, kinds of strange sound effects in here. Yeah, we can take him down, but uh, we're just going to chug some potions on the way. Alright, he's almost dead. Okay, he gone. He gone! Alright, go ahead and fall, dude, so I could loot you. Thank you. Should be the second piece. And it is. There's the sword hilt. So now we have two of four is pieces. That perfume? You must be strange. The trees, perhaps. Hmm. Oh, okay. So apparently it smells nice here. Hmm. Oh, something else to loot. What do we got? Oh, this must have been for one of the corpses that were with him. Pirate Captain Cutlass sword. Huh. Is that better than what uh, Cassandra's using right now? She's she's the only person I have who uses a one-handed weapon. Um. No, it's not as good. Yeah, it's not as good. Okay. We'll just go ahead and move that to valuables. And this here, we don't need that either. So let's do it. Do that. Huh. Okay. Um. Gosh, I don't know where I want to go. There's so many places to go in here. Let's, um. Let's make this our next place to go. But we will do that next time because it's break time for me. Thank you so much for watching. I really do hope you enjoyed it. If you did, why don't you consider hitting that like button? Leave me a comment. Let me know what you think of this playthrough or this episode in particular. I'd love to hear from you. Thank you to everyone who already leaves me comments. And thank you to everyone who watches my videos in general. I really do appreciate it. And like I said, I hope you enjoy them. I'll see you again in the next episode.